watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hello and welcome to ShopRite's Be the Media program. My name is Chuck Joseph and my family owns the ShopRite of West Hartford. In this segment, you'll see local stories about our community as told by local residents of all ages. As a resident and business owner in West Hartford, our ShopRite team is proud to support Be the Media. My family opened our store with the mission to have a positive impact on the community, and we are pleased to share that mission with you today. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the show. Have you heard about the West Hartford Women's Corral? I'm Karen Backman. I'm the co-founder and president of the board. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about us. The Corral is celebrating its 10th anniversary season this year. We have about 65 women who sing with us. Most of them come from the West, West Hartford. Under the direction of Dr. Ethan Nash, we perform two concerts a year of our own. And we sing at benefit performances like the Holiday Stroll in West Hartford, Celebrate West Hartford, and the um, Athenaeum's Festival of Trees. We, are, we continue to hold the tradition of being a non-audition chorale for any women who would like to sing in an ensemble. But, I, you know, I'd like to have you meet some of our members, so let me bring you to an open rehearsal. Bristow Middle School. This is where the chorale actually comes every Tuesday night to rehearse. These are some members of the board of the West Hartford Women's Corral. We're setting up for our first open rehearsal and have a lot to do to let people know about us when they come in. Uh, How long have you been in the corral? I joined in the fall of 2005. That must have been near when the corral first started. Very close, yes. And what's kept you coming back? I love to sing and I enjoy meeting friends with, amongst the members of the corral. I think um, you're also in Camerata. I was last year, yes. It's an auditioned group and every member auditions every year that would like to participate. And do they sing separately or do they sing with the corral? They need to be members of the corral as well as members of Camerata, and they perform their own pieces at the concerts along with the... Hi! Um, I think you have a special role in the West Hartford Women's Corral. I do. I'm on the board of directors and I'm the treasurer, so I'm the money gal. How long have you been in the, um, in the corral? This will be my sixth year. And what keeps you coming back? Uh, I love fancy, to sing, fancy. but especially I love the people in the corral. It's a great group of women, a great way to spend one night a week. Uh, we learn new things. We have an excellent director, and it's just a lot of fun. I think this is your first time tonight at the corral. It is my first time here at the practice, yes. How come you came? I love to sing, and I've heard you guys sing. I came to the spring concert and the winter concert last year. I love what you do, and I thought I would give it a try. And what do you think? Will you come back? It was great fun. I just need to check my schedule, and yeah, I think I would really like to come back. And you'd like to know a little bit more about the corral, or maybe you'd like to join. 
You can find out more information at our website, www.whwchoral.org. getting into at first because I'm like oh a shed like you see them around at Home Depot and whatnot and you're like oh I can, I can build that get some wood get some nails but it, it, it turned out to be a more involved project uh, we had a, a little trouble getting it off the ground because of, of my end with the Boy Scouts and they, they were giving me a little uh, approval trouble but once we got it going I worked with the people from the town town hall and um, down in the building and zoning they helped me out a lot um, along with some architects they were like oh this needs to be here and I'm not I'm not a builder I'm not a contractor I I'm just a high school student so you are now <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a high school student so um they, they really led me along the whole way and then uh, I found a great team of helpers uh, within my troop itself and then within uh, pack 46 also we had some uh, contractors come from habitat habitat for humanity so that was really good um, it took it took a long time um, I'm just really proud to to that we helped build it. Um, it. It's just a great accomplishment, and it'll help me uh, get one step closer to uh, getting my ego bad. So thank you. Thank you everybody for coming down for this, and I hope that if you love to garden or you just want to learn how to garden, you'll get in touch with me because, as you can see, we have these wonderful beds, which uh, Keith and his tribe, his grandma and grandpa and every, everybody here, they all helped to put together some of these beds for us so that we can um, really teach our children, you know, how important it is to take care of our earth now so we have it nice for our future. So uh, thank you very much for coming and uh, enjoy thank the rest you. of the night. <laughs> thank you. Hi, I'm Johnny. And I'm Samantha. We're from Be The Media, and we're going to show you a video on J.C. Phillips' trip to Whitey Lano. The Ono started with an illustration I did in the second Wink book. I had Wink hide in a toy store, and I needed some toys to fill up the toy store. So I made these little monkeys in here, and the people over at my publisher really thought the monkey was cute, and they asked me to write a story about that monkey. So wrote a story about that monkey. You start with a nice oval, like so. And some ears. And a couple nice eyes. And then I do a brow over the eyes. And I connect them. Do a couple lines down. And a nice big smile. is so good. Because because they eat all the insects that try to that, that try to eat our garden. They try to eat the gardens. Like aphids. Hi I'm Lily from Media. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Johnny from Be the Media and this is Field Day 2013. Oh, 
Be the media team, and I hope you enjoyed Field Day of 2013. not in the classroom after 15 minutes, please do not leave. If you do so, it will count as a cut. Wait, guys, no, that's just a myth. We're all going to get detentions. Oh, okay. What should we do then? Wait, no, guys, sit down. I'm calling the office. That's ridiculous. I'm out. Please. Hi, this is Annabella in room H201. Mr. Ellis is not here yet. Okay, I'll send someone up now. Just stay in the classroom and make sure everyone else yeah, does too. Thank you. Okay, thank you. They're sending someone. You need to call the main office at extension zero. There must have been a mix-up and they need to know you may not leave class. Now I must give you a 90-minute detention because you cut class. So your detention will be in room F-155. See you there. Don't cut class. And welcome to another episode of How To. In this episode, we are going to talk about appropriate and inappropriate uses of technology at Hall High School. What follows are several scenarios related to use of electronic devices during school hours. Let's see if you can tell which are acceptable and which are not. Now, is this an example of acceptable use? If you said yes, you're right. Now, let's look at another situation.
Now let's try this. What do you think? That's right. The acceptable use policy of the WHPS holds that computers and other technology must be used for educational purposes only. Gaming, watching videos, or other distracting activities, unless directly related to a class assignment, are prohibited during school hours. In this scenario, see if you can spot the appropriate use of earbuds or headphones. Well, friend, what do you think of this situation? Correct! Using earbuds during class time is against school policy. Not only do you miss important class content, but it's just plain rude. Now, consider this scenario. Good afternoon, unbelievably productive and quiet study hall. Welcome back. You may commence studying. <laughs> now, what do we think of this situation? Correct. Music devices with headphones may be used in study hall at the discretion of the teacher. In addition, music devices may be used in the cafeteria during lunch only. This next scenario involves appropriate use of cell phones during school hours. Let's look at two situations. situations, which demonstrates an appropriate use of cell phones. Correct! The only places where cell phones may be used during school hours are the hallways during passing time or in the cafeteria, unless your teacher deems that they may be used for educational purposes. Our final scenario involves when and how it is appropriate to take photos, Snapchat, or Instagram your teachers. For some guidance, let's talk to one school official. Don't do it. Well, friends, that wraps up this edition of How To. You know, I think we've learned a lot in our time together. I hope that you take these lessons to heart and do what you can to make our school a better place. Until next time. The event is called Entertainment Showcase, and basically what it is, it's um, different performers, different kinds of artists perform for an eight-minute slot, and people from different communities, um, hospitals, uh, libraries, um, senior centers, people who normally book events come as guests and um, see the showcase of different entertainers, and they book them right there. We have. Um, people who play instruments, people who sing, people who dance. My name is Larry, Larry Rule. And I'm Ellen Iavino. And we call ourselves We Got Rhythm. Well, it's a song and dance tribute to America's greatest songwriters. We do American songs from all different periods right up until the current time. The thing that's different about our act is we don't use any machines. We play all of our own instruments. 
and the loop tap dance as well. We're both tap dancers. There's a lot of people who dance, a lot of people who play instruments, not many who do both at the same time. That's right. People appreciate it so deeply. And they're, they're the best audience ever. They really love their music. And um, yeah, they're very appreciative. And live music means a lot to these people. Uh, to the more uh, senior people, and they love to hear uh, the songs that they love, and they love to hear new songs too. Many entertainers play uh, songs or uh, dance things that were from their time, um, so it's very encouraging to see them excited about uh, listening to to the music that they used to hear when they were young. Time is in, and I'll be on Hello, my name is Gus. I'm Max. And I'm Zach. And we are part of the Be The Media Group. We're from Smith STEM School. And we, were, we are going to introduce you to the Be The Media team. Hello, I'm Bob. Hello, and, uh, Bob. Why do you like, why did you want to join Be The Media? I joined Be The Media because I like taking pictures and I'm good with electronics. Why do you like taking pictures? I like taking pictures of nature and the beauties of nature. Hi, my name is Zach. Hello. Why have you joined Be The Media? Well, because last year I didn't get in and I like taking photos. Why do you like taking photos? Because it's just fun to me and I like taking pictures because it's just fun. Well, goodbye Zach. Hello, my name is Gus. Hello Gus. Why did you want to join Be The Media? Well, I've always really liked to take pictures. Why do you like to take pictures? I just think that it's fun. Okay, ready? Okay. Well, goodbye, Gus. Good. What is your name? My name is Cecilia. Why did you join Be The Media? Because I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do something fun. What do you think you'll learn? I think I'll learn more about computers and filming. What is your name? My name is Natasha. Why did you join Be The Media? Um, I thought I'd learn um, new things about computers and gadgets. What is your name? My name's Brody. Why did you join Be The Media? Um, because I love computers and playing games on computers. Why do you like computers? Um, because I love video games. For Be The Media, I'm Natasha. I'm Cecilia. And I'm Bo. Locally owned and operated by the Joseph family, our store is completely remodeled and offers a variety of high quality products and exceptional value. You can find us at the corner of Kane and Prospect and experience our mission of having a positive impact on our associates, customers, and community.